This video lesson is anchored from the self-learning module in English 7 of Schools Division Office of Kalaokan, written by Ms. Emily A. Crisostomo and Ms. Mia C. Unai, which the most essential learning competency is to react to what is asserted or expressed in a text. In this 21st century era, everyone tends to read, to write, and to speak what's in their mind. People may agree or disagree. It is because reacting to a text or an issue means giving worthy assertions. When we say assertions, they are statements that people may approve or disapprove with. Assertions do not necessarily mean they are generally facts. Also, they pertain to one's stand on an issue, topic, or subject. Whether you like it or not, there are times that you have to give your reaction to what is asserted or expressed by someone. It may be your family, classmates, or friends. It could be in the book or pamphlets that you have read. In short, this is an opportunity for everyone to know what and how they feel in an asserted or expressed idea. It is also good to note that when you react, it will always involve critical thinking, deep understanding, and careful judgment, especially on what is being expressed. In giving your reaction, it is important to tell whether you agree or disagree to what is asserted or expressed in the text. Example, I agree with what the author stated. I do not agree what the author stated. Share what you agree or disagree with. Example, I also believe that we should help in planting trees. I don't believe that we should make abortion legal in the Philippines. Explain your reaction clearly. Give valid, logical, and sound reasons to support your reaction. Examples I also believe that we should help in planting trees because trees clean air. They produce oxygen for us to breathe freely. I don't believe that we should make abortion legal in the Philippines because life is a gift from God and no one is allowed to take it from us except God. React what is asserted or expressed in the text. Because secret.